good morning friends uh, selecting the owl for precision entry point in the proximal femur uh, we all know that this is a great judge important judgment in nailing procedures selecting the exact entry point what we want and at the outset i would like to decide whether it is a tough bone or a porotic bone where we have to create an entry point in a tough bone what my experience is owl when we put it a diamond owl it tries to slip posteriorly because this surface is bit slopy so our owl should be very sharp we determine the best instrument what is available to make a entry point in a given case and what i found is that aos entry point owl appears best to me in this purpose because it has a sharp edge and serrated side serrations which hold the bone very well doesn't slip and curves a uh, path very nicely we all started with various instruments the uh, uh, available to us the curved owls the straight owls the straight diamond owls and various drill points but the work horse for all of us mostly is a diamond owl it should be sharp initially it works for few times and then when it, the edges become smoothened then it becomes practically difficult the ao owl friends i would like to emphasize on these three images when we make a entry owl the siam image in a internal rotated position here would then in a internal rotation with flexed attitude it changes a bit and in external rotation we have to struggle with this point so we just remember these images this is the surface marking for right femur i'll take a entry point at around three fingers from that point this would be the entry point a straighter one for the pfn and the trajectory for a owl would be a bit angling anteriorly so that it holds well into the piriformis fossa the scissor dissects the trochanteric bursa by making two or three loops then when there is a gross flexion deformity and the fracture is flexed and adducted the proximal fragment there is great difficulty in properly finding the entry point in this situation i find a thigh support which is autoclave thigh support helps me a lot a routine entry point we make with a sharp curved oil however at times in a hard bone if the owl is not taking the entry point i may at times use a drill point on a sleeve that also secures the point and a serrated sleeve on the drill can make the uh, entry point secure so that we can exchange the drilling feet with the guide wire as you can see here this is the drilling sleeve and the drill uh, has penetrated so sleeve would be inserted on the drill point so that that area is secured so we don't have to find it a fine if you want to change the entry point a bit a honeycomb targeter helps us a lot this would be the precise entry point for a pfn entry at times the sleeves are useful to us in shifting the entry point by 3 mm or 6 mm this gives a shifting of 3 mm this gives a shifting of 6 mm this is how it works so you can shift your entry point on a drilling uh, pin so this is a drilling pin applied and on a drilling pin a sharp owl this is from a tfns set this is really working very well so it is beveled it is sharp so this is the sharp edge which cuts very very well so you can core on the inner side if you want you can go inner or you can core on the outer side a gentle curve helps to guide uh, change the track of the guide wire most of the time if there is a fracture line here the guide wire may go out so if the curved owl is used this is helpful so look at the entry point here the entry point is just lateralizing so we would like to shift it bit anteriorly and bit medially this is how it is shifted and then with a uh, bone lever or what we call as a pusher we can shift the entry point medially this is the autoclavable stand which is which can be easily made this is the iv pole on this it can go this is the part which is autoclave this is how it can be used so this is very helpful especially for such situations where the proximal fragment is getting pushed up so we can push up the distal part the distal part usually goes down and medially that can be pushed up well and then a correct trajectory of the guide wire can be obtained with a correct entry owl fracture reduction as you know has four steps and if a exact entry is made our um, our uh, path of the guide wire and the nail would be very proper this is a bone lever all bone levers have 13 and 14 mm hole so when you are rimming to avoid lateralization you can just use a power to be shifted medially so that it keeps on uh, remaining the same portal this is a curved bone lever which is cut so this is a spike for preventing lateralization and this is making a entry point with the drill and uh, a sleeve getting inserted at times so offset bevel 
helps in a very obese patient if you are not able to go inside uh, offset uh, also helps this is offset um, bevel point so these are the various instrument which help us out in creating a exact entry point what we want with the correct choose of uh, choice of the owl thank you very much mm -hmm.